Peloton is no stranger to competition in terms of lesser priced bike models rivaling the same design, style, and capabilities. So when it was announced Monday that Amazon was offering a sub $500 priced bike to their Amazon Prime members, they had an uncanny resemblance to Peloton's minus the inclusion of the tablet, and that this bike was in partnership with Echelon, a long-standing competitor to Peloton, articles were popping up everywhere exuding love and hate opinions on this partnership. For most, it's a no-brainer why Echelon would offer this. They already have bikes of their own starting at $999 and $1199. But with a formal partnership with Amazon, that was definitely new, even with the name of Prime Bike, and made it seem as if Amazon was wholeheartedly supporting this bike model. Aside from its lesser price point, this bike weighs a mere 80 pounds versus Peloton's 135 pounds, so it does imply that this bike is not as well made and could be a little bit more flimsy. According to TechCrunch, Lou Lentine, the CEO and president of Echelon Fitness, said that the Prime bike was in collaboration with Amazon and they aimed to create an amazing connected bike that was under $500. So as if the announcement of the under $500 bike isn't enough, even more surprisingly, two days later, Amazon responded to the statement of saying that this bike was in collaboration with Amazon, saying that was not true, and they have since removed the product from their site and issued statements distancing themselves from Echelon. Echelon responded back by saying it was merely a miscommunication and that they had just intended to sell the bike on Amazon. <music> Lastly, while this bike isn't on Amazon, it is available from other retailers such as Walmart, where Walmart has it on their site for $499. So in summary, Peloton customers can breathe easily knowing that their bike isn't being outpriced by a knockoff version that closely resembles the real thing. Peloton has already increased its competitive edge, dropping the price from their originally priced $2,245 bike down to $1,895, that's around $350 less. But still, to put things in perspective, that is nearly $1,500 more than the most inexpensive bike on the market. However, I will say that you do get what you pay for, and if you want a well-made product with a motivating community, I would recommend the Peloton bike, especially with this new price decrease. Alternatively, you could wait for Peloton to sell their refurbished models on their site. There was an article alluding to this fact that sometime down the line they would be offering this, especially considering their trade-in offer of $700 towards current Peloton customers if you'd like to trade in your current model for the new Bike Plus. On Peloton's site, they do offer some guidelines or suggestions if you want to purchase a refurbished model. Their first suggestion is to check out a local online marketplace such as Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. Or you can also check out the unofficial Facebook group called Peloton Buy, Sell, and Trade. So I'm curious to know, what do you think about this controversy? Do you think it was Echelon's main intent or objective to bring recognition to their brand in the midst of all the competition? Or do you think it was simply a miscommunication issue between Echelon and Amazon? Or do you think that was merely a cover-up? So I do want to make a quick mention to the brand Teamy. If you don't feel like having coffee and want a little bit of an energy boost during the day, I recommend trying their green superfood powder. This powder contains matcha, which will give you a natural caffeine boost. It's quite easy. I just make a green tea latte out of it and I drink it in the morning. So this is what the green tea latte looks like once combined. This drink does taste like the matcha latte from Starbucks, and of course this powder does have matcha in it, so it does give you a natural caffeine boost. In my opinion, this is one of the most natural tasting green superfood powders that I've tried on the market. I don't like the ones that already contain sweeteners. I prefer to adjust it to my own taste. So if you're wanting to try this powder for yourself, I do have a coupon code. ChrisMarie15 will get you 15% off your order of $30 or more. I want to make a quick mention regarding the shirt that I'm wearing in today's video. This is from the brand Astoria Activewear. This top has a slightly cropped fit, making it great for working out, and the back details are pretty interesting as well. So anyways, with that being said, that should do it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe if you like videos or content like this. Leave a comment down below if you have any suggestions for future videos or topics you'd like to see me cover. Anyways, with that being said, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks for watching.